you can see this whitetail hawk, he has equipment on. So he has jesses and anklets. And like you, when you have a dog out and you walk him on a leash, well, we are holding on to this bird right now. And it's for his safety and for everybody's safety. However, hawks and falcons and owls, when they hunt, they kill with their feet. So their legs are very, very strong. However, what do turkey vultures eat? Roadkill. Exactly. <laughs> Dead things. And so they don't need to have very powerful feet for catching. And so the turkey vulture actually doesn't have anything on him. So if he wanted to take out and fly, he would he would enjoy a real nice day. Like so this is Levi. <laughs> Levi is a scarlet macaw. And so scarlet macaws, they're a type of parrot, and they're found in the rainforests of South America, mainly Brazil. And they live in huge groups. And while Levi's here, he's actually eating right now, so he's pretty quiet. But while he's out flying, normally he's very, very loud. And those loud contact calls are how they stay in touch with their friends and family. However, when people have them in their house, they often don't realize how loud they are. Because when they're in the wild, they have to reach all the way across the rainforest and call their friends. Well, in your house, it's going to echo. And actually, Levi's a pretty good flyer. We'll see if we can do some flights with him. <laughs> and so in, in general, birds, they fly very, very low because flying requires a lot of energy. So if they fly low, it saves energy because they don't have to flap so hard. And so if you duck down and he flies over you, he's just going to fly that much lower. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a little more shot <laughs> Here he goes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was cool. That super cool. Oh, you already got one. So Levi here, he's three years old, and he's actually pretty young because they can live for over 50 years in the wild. <laughs>